easily to go to like Kessa and pull this up from here. But this is very strong. His elbow is connected to his rib. So most of the time, it's going to be very hard to pull up, to drag, and go break. So what I want to do is I want to make him bring his elbow up and then block it with my leg. Right? So if I put weight on his wrist from here, okay, since so that you guys can see, if I put weight on the wrist, look, the elbow pops up. Right? So if you put weight on the wrist, the elbow pops up. So if I'm here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to start to blade my hip on his wrist. I'm going to sprawl, sprawl, sprawl. Up. His elbow starts to pop up. Now, my knee is going to block and end up here. Right? Now, to keep the control, his arm can be here. I'm pulling up the elbow. His arm can be in here. I'm pulling up the elbow. But I'm not going to drag my leg back. The moment I drag my leg back and do this, look, I lost position. I lost the position, right? So once I put my weight on the wrist, I switch my hips, I start to pick up the elbow. Instead of dragging my leg back, I'm gonna take a step with my outside. I'm gonna take a step close to his head, right? If I try to drop my knee by his head, look, there's space for his everything to come up. Right? So I kind of want him to suffer. So to make him suffer, I'm going to put his hand over here. How do I do that? By pulling, stepping, and dropping my knee here. And now I can isolate the arm. There's no space. It's very uncomfortable. Uh, so you try to bring your elbow back inside. There's no space for the elbow to go back inside. Alright, then I can start to attack this arm. One more time. So I'm here. Side mount, I got the pass. I feel like he has his frame, so I start to blade his wrist to pick up the, um, the elbow. I switch, I pick this up, I take a step, far step to the top of his head, I drop my knee, I isolate this arm. I isolate this arm, put it here. Ideally, it's here. Kuha. I want you guys to trap the arms, isolate the arms. Play around in the position. I'm gonna give you guys five minutes to experiment. Right? You can choose how you wanna switch with your partner. After five minutes, I'll show you guys three ways to attack the arm. Is that clear? One, two. On three, one, two. Stripping this all the way through, going all the way to the head, isolating the arm. Right? So this arm bar, it's about tightness. Uh, Tainan does this a lot. So what I'm gonna do is from here, I'm gonna post far. I'm gonna post my arm far so I have space for my leg to travel. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip the head of Geo with my leg, right? So I'm posting, I'm gonna clip the head of Geo with my leg, right? From here, I'm gonna climb my knee up. I'm gonna pull his elbow up so that my knee can travel from here all the way to his uh, hip and then point up. So what that's gonna look like is I'm gonna end up here. From here, I'm gonna isolate this arm by pinching Gio's armpit with my um, heel, my leg kicking in, right? So right now his arm is isolated. My knee's pinching in, they should never flare out, right? From here, I'm gonna grab the wrist, make sure the thumb is pointed up, and then finish the armbar. Right, so you wanna be tight the whole time, right? You don't wanna give them a moment where they can turn, right? So again, if I'm here, so if I set it up properly, fighting the frames, I raise the elbow, I block the knee, I pull up the elbow, I take a step, I start to isolate this arm. Right? I post far. If I don't post far, it's very hard for me. It is not as smooth. So I'm gonna post, reach far, step, and clip. Climb over, and finish the armbar there. Dave, can I borrow? Right, you don't want to start attacking when they have frames. When they have frames and you start moving, this is the time that Geo is waiting to create more frames, create more space, and get out of this sticky situation. Right? So if you're playing bottom, know that if you have your frames, you don't have to panic. Right? If you have your frames, you can build off them. So it's your job as the top person to slowly strip them away. Again, if I'm here and I feel his frames, I put my weight on the wrist so that his elbow pops up. Now I can shift. Don't forget <clears throat> to pick it up, right? 
whether his arm is inside, whether it's here where it feels more natural, pick up the um, shoulder so his shoulder gets off the floor, take a step, drag, and now it's let him cook. You can wait here a little bit, make him suffer a little bit, all right? Then we start to attack. Okay, here, this is where I choose between an arm bar or a kimura or a tariko plata is what his reaction is going to be, right? Two reactions, if he stays flat, then I start to attack the arm bar. But if he starts to get to his side, he starts to turn to his side, I have to step over just like the arm bar earlier. I can push down to the head or if I'm quick enough, I step over, I pinch again with my heel and my knee. Everything's about isolation, right? If you don't isolate the attack, there's a bigger chance you're gonna escape your submission. If you isolate the limb, then you're able to finish your submissions. The simple one, easy one, Kimura. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise my elbows up. I'm gonna turn, once I turn, I'm gonna grab my own wrist and grab his wrist. I'm not gonna allow him to grab his belt or anything because it's gonna be too difficult, right? Now I'm just gonna bring his hand, uh, his hand to the back of his head until he gets to death. Again. From here, I have the arm isolated. Gio is able to turn into me. Right, I step over, I pinch, I start to lift. Right, I lift only so that he can't grab his belt. Because once he grabs his belt, it's a different game. Right, let's turn a little bit, let's turn a little bit, turn a little bit. Right, so I start to lift, I connect his elbow to my chest. I rotate, catch my own wrist, catch his wrist. I don't have to hold it with my hands, I can go claw. I just turn and get this up. Okay, fancy stuff if you want to try. All right, he grabs his belt. It's not over for me. All right, I'm just going to flare my wrist. Flare, hold it, because I'm going to throw this leg. If I throw this leg and his leg is free, he will catch it and get halfway. All right, then I lose the position. So I flare, I push down, I throw my leg, I catch my thigh with this hand. This hand gives the illusion that I'm still holding it down. I want him, so I really have to sell the Kimura, so he's really holding onto his belt. I'm gonna flare, push down, step over. Okay, to finish, there's two ways. If you're able to flatten his back on the floor, all you have to do is trap his hip, go this way, and sit through. Yeah. All you have to do is block his hip here, put your butt on his chest so that he flattens his back, and you sit through. So no matter if he's holding his belt or not, you're gonna get the shoulder break because you're using your legs. Okay, if he's staying persistent on his side, I fall backwards, I give him the illusion of safety. He feels like he's getting out because he's on his knees. I turn and then the quattro this way, and just like how I finished it earlier, I block his hip, I sit there. Okay, so shoulder locks. Shoulder locks with my head, shoulder locks with my knee. One more time. So side mount, make sure you don't start your attacks if he has his friends. You make them suffer, pop the elbow, grab the elbow, take a step, isolate the arm. If he doesn't move, we go for our arm bar. That's number one. If Gio turns into me, that's the only options I'm giving him. Right? I'm giving him the option to turn into me. I like this most of the time. I finish most of my matches from him. Make them turn, I make them pay. I step, I pinch, I lift. Don't let him, ideally don't let him grab your wrist. <coughs> right? If you can finish it from here, finish it from here. Turn, grab your wrist, and turn to his hand. He grabs his belt, then he's even more screwed. Right? This is what I want also. One, two, three. All you have to do is get his back to the mat and sit. Go up. Can you see one more time? I saw the Jesus face. Go up. Yeah? Let's give it a try, guys. One, three. One, two.